Yes, come in. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Thank you, sir. It seems your face is known to us. Have you ever come to this board? Last year, sir. Last year? Yes. Sir. I see. Yes. The face is familiar. Yesterday, the day before you were there. So, the day before you were there. Last year, how you missed? What was the... So, last year's score was 120. My interview. Mm, 120? Yes. Why it's so, mm, so bad? Because the, just before the day of uh, my interview, I was discharged from the hospital because of urine infection. I see. So, my voice was low and I was the last candidate of the board. And my interview started at 6.30 p.m. I, I was there uh, from 11.30 a.m. So, my energy level was drawn and... Uh, and you must be also down. Yes. Sir. Yes. Hmm? Lost some. Well, there was no energy for you to <laughs> so fight with them. Yes. Hmm? Lost of corner. Uh, okay. Very good. Ariel, uh, can you speak something more about? Let us listen to you. How you introduce yourself? Sir, I am Haryar Dada. I am from Baleshwar district. I have completed my graduation in chemistry from North Odisha University. Then I am doing my uh, post graduation in Odisha State Open University in Sociology. My hobbies include motivating my co-aspirants, teaching and uh, reading short stories of Fakir Mohan Zanapati and Manas Das. Uh, this is my uh, second attempt and my second interview in OPC. Oh, I see. Motivating, reading various short stories. So any of the stories that has inspired you for your any of the activities that you have been pursuing, can you tell something about that? Yes, sir. One story and that is rightly uh, coming to my mind is written by Manostas. Uh, one of his, the exact story, uh, I am unable to recall the uh, title of the story, but it is actually uh, there in his book, Sasavasandra Jethi. So, in that story actually, uh, a married daughter steals food from his or from her own father's house. That has motivated me uh, so that I could uh, do my work honestly in the field of administration to eradicate poverty. So that any daughter must not be so forced to steal food from her own father's house. Why it was so? What is the story What is the story like? The story was uh, like uh, a poor father and a poor daughter. So the uh, situation was like I think a cyclone or drought, I am not exactly remembering. So uh, that daughter was forced by her in-laws to go and steal food grains from her own father's house. So that's why she was forced to do that. Okay, but anyway if you want to tell me for the board, you need to little more. Definitely, yeah. I will revise the stories. Mm, if you are speaking on the story, don't start with a negative note. That uh, I don't remember exactly what it is, but this is the story. That is how you started. Okay, definitely I will read it once. So if you do not know, leave that part. Okay. Whatever you know, that part you start with. Okay, sir. Hmm? Okay. Hmm. So there are many things to carry on with this story. So okay. Sir. The part which is not known, don't start with the beginning. Okay. Saying that yes, this part I don't know, but this story goes like this. Means it is again you do not know what to say something. Okay, sir. <laughs> Yes. So they might even ask that why daughter going to father's mm -hmm. house, Maggie Tanitha, why steal? Mm -hmm. Okay, definitely I have to read sir. Okay. Okay. There must be some certain circumstances under which she is stealing. Okay. Then we have to ask Maggie Tanitha, why steal? Yes sir. Mm -hmm. We have not asked much about that. Yes sir. Yes. That you look into. Definitely. Okay, now when we look to the society. Yes sir. The social fabric that is going on changing with the digital era. Yes, sir. What do you look for the sustainability of the future? So the first thing that I would like to discuss is religion. So, uh, although digitalization is there, but the strong world of religion has not decreased yet. The second thing is a caste system. With the penetration of digital media or what I, we can say social media, the clutch of the caste system is decreasing, definitely not in a great speed, but surely in some speed. But the clause of the caste system is decreasing. So, third thing is uh, education. The level of education has increased by the advent of this digital media or digital infrastructure that we have. Especially 
during the COVID and after the COVID. The fourth things are uh, tracking uh, the poverty. That is another system which actually uh, is helping by this digital media. And the five thing that I would like the I would like the uh, the system of uh, data, the system of de data. Sir. We are actually uh, having a map on uh, what I can say is migrant level, the data on the migrant level that is uh, possible because of this uh, digital media so that we can do uh, more better uh, targeted benefits for this migrant. But our population. concern is uh, how this is affecting the society that is emerging for the future. We are concerned about that. Social health. Yes sir. And Sir, it is two facets. The first thing, the information in the hand of the new generation is readily available. So the knowledge they are gaining is readily, readily available. Second thing is sir, the volume of interaction between the generations is decreasing. That is hampering the personality growth. But we are concerned about society as you know. Are we turning more towards a Western society that how the kind of social structure that exists in the West, okay. are we tending towards that? It's breaking the Indian indigenous system of social fabric. Uh, we are actually, sir, moving towards a generation of modernization, uh, which is actually powered by uh, westernization. So, yes, I would not say we are not going towards westernization. We are actually balancing westernization and also our own culture. So, to some extent, we are going westernized, but at the same time, we are also in our root culture. Okay. What part of the fundamental right has been taken away by the government? Previously we had something and yes, some part of it has been taken away. So it is a right to property, sir. Uh, right to property? Yes. It is not a fundamental right? No, sir. Not now. Not now. That means I cannot hold my property, you can take it. <laughs> exactly. Yes, sir. No, sir. I don't have the right. <laughs> I don't have the right of my property and somebody can take it. Still it has the... No, sir. As much as I know, uh, right to property uh, doesn't mean one cannot hold property. Uh, it means uh, if uh, someone has the property and the government wants that property for developmental work, the government has to pay a certain amount. But on that basis, that person cannot go to the court on the basis of infringement of the fundamental rights. That's what I understand about right to property. Then on which right it is done? It is a legal I claim. It is a legal right, sir. Uh, we, uh, we may go to, uh, go to the court, but not necessarily by the way of using Article 32 or Article 226. So, if it is a legal right, then government can take it. Government if, can if required. Government can take okay. it, sir, but under certain provisions of uh, the rehabilitation option. Okay. Now, what is the most recent amendment? I'm sorry, sir. I have to look upon it. Hmm? I have to look up on it, sir. Mm. The 105th or something like that, the, the, about this preservation for the social EW, paper. EWS, mm, yes. economic education. I think it is 104, sir. 4 or 5. I am not sure, sir. I have to look up it, definitely look up. Maybe 5. Okay, sir, I have to look up. Look to that. That is also one more. <coughs> what is the fate of this repealing 370? Article 370, sir. So it was uh, very necessary for the development of uh, uh, the state of uh, Jammu and Kashmir, who is uh, uh, turned to its uh, in uh, Indian territory. So because it has an inherent provisions of Article 35A, which uh, uh, means we could not buy property or the establishments we cannot uh, establish there. The law and order system was on the hand of uh, uh, the Jammu and Kashmir Police, the Jammu and Kashmir administration. So it was very necessary for us to abrogate that particular article so that we can bring investments there. Uh, the people of Jammu and Kashmir uh, can be exposed to the outer world and the culture, cultural significance can be brought up to the light, sir. So it was very necessary for the development of uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir and also for Ladakh, sir. Ajay, why Niti Ayog was initiated replacing the planning commission? The inherent nature of the planning commission was from top to bottom, sir. Its approach of delivering services was from top to bottom. But that approach, uh, the current uh, government at the centre thought is not viable anymore. 
so it replaced with the niti ayog which approached which approach is actually a bottom up approach means inculcating the states in the law making sorry in the decision making process so this is the base basic difference we wanted a, a bottom up approach and for that we have niti ayog who is leading the niti ayog now the prime minister next to prime minister is the vice chairperson I'm forgetting the name. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Please look at that. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Prime Minister even said the top obviously, uh, but the Prime Minister is important. Yes, I'm just mm -hmm. forgetting. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> before asking you any questions, I think yesterday or day before we met, I had asked you in general some questions about Odisha. I would like to just tell you one thing to be conscious when speaking. Maybe you are becoming conscious. When you are interacting with sir, we said first, second, third, then fourth thing, then five thing. Like this, five things. Okay. Okay. Point wise, sir, what is it? Say fifth, say fourth, fifth, sixth, okay. fourth. Or third, or in the middle, okay. Fourth thing, what is it? Five things, what is it? Okay. You continue as fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. You continue that way. Okay. So okay. Okay. That's why. Uh, you talked about that story. Yes, sir. Have you read the story of Petu? No, sir. Not yet. Hmm? Not sir. okay. By Pranamandu Kara. Pranamandu Kara has written that story on Petu. It's a beautiful story. Say, book, but nothing to do with stealing. Okay. Definitely, I've read it, sir. Hmm? But I've not read. Just it. go through. And have you read uh, Fakir Manu Kara Rebati? I have not read, sir. But I have seen the episodes in uh, the. रेबती just go through 7 8 pushta of this story definitely i'll go read and try to analyze that what sort of a character rebati is how pokemon is depicting her is the story complete she chadi bichu no point last okay okay just read that definitely okay now see when we talk about something source is very important yes sir source is very important now if you become a administrator okay there are two things like when we do research in research there are two aspects one has to keep in mind that is error of good faith and error of accuracy okay sir so when you become a officer you have to always keep these things in mind so what is the error of good faith and what is the Thing which we call as error of accuracy. I have uh, not known about this topic, sir, but I can make an educated guess. Okay. Uh, the meaning of uh, error of uh, accuracy uh, may be like this: uh, the data that is being collected repeatedly must be true or must be same as collected before. Means, uh, no matter what uh, method we are employing, the data must be the same. Okay. So the error of faith uh, may be uh, by what source uh, we we are getting the information or by what instrument we are getting the information. There must not be the deficit of trust on that particular instrument or or on that particular person. So I, I'll make it clear for you. Okay, sir. You are the collector. Yes, sir. X is the officer. Has yes. to give you a data. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. You have full faith on the person. Yes, sir. Full faith on the person. Yes, sir. He knows what is right, what is wrong. Gives you a wrong data. Because of good faith, you have full strength and faith on the person. Yes, sir. But he gives you a data which is, he's, he knows that the data is wrong. Wrong. But gives you that data. There, error of faith. good faith is committed. Okay. And error of accuracy is, what you said, that's not right. Error of accuracy is, the person gives you a data. He knows whatever data he is giving is correct. Okay. But 
the data that is collected is not correct. Okay. He thinks it is correct. Correct. He is not doing any error of good faith. Okay. He thinks the data that he is giving you is correct. Correct. But the data is wrong. Wrong. Like for example, right now I show you this pen. Does it have a pocket holder? I am not seeing any pocket holders. Exactly. And I think now you have understood. Yes, sir. Definitely. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. You see, in administration, I was talking about source. So, what type of source we have? Like, our history is written. The Odisha is very rich and all things. There are different categories of source. Sources. So can you tell me what, how many types of sources we have? Looking into which we have constructed our past. One source can be the archives of the government. Okay. 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 The second thing uh, may be the uh, historical books or the historical accounts of the travelers. The third thing would be uh, the archaeological evidences that must be there. And the fourth thing would be the newspaper or the news articles at that point of time. Or the fifth thing that can be Just to go through. Okay, definitely. I think I had asked you in the previous interaction, like when Odisha became a separate province. Uh, that is 1st April of 1936. And gradually when like we became independent after this point, yes, merger sir. started into yes, sir. princely state, state started merging in. Yes, sir. Who were the first? It was in fact over in 1948 if I am not wrong on uh, yes uh, I think it was 1948 1st January 1948 who was the last to merge with Odisha which princely state so last I think Mayurabhans right so. can you tell me something on Barabati Fort because you will be sitting next to the Barabati Fort for your interview. We will ask you, Pakhera Achi Amu Barabati Fort, Ki Kori Thile, Ko Period Rehi I have to, what knowledge you have? I have to research on it, sir. Nothing to research, just read. Okay, sir. Ethi Ki Padhile Jani Ko Ki Kori Thile, Ki Kori Thile. Okay, definitely. Okay, sir. Definitely. And then, Odisha's contribution to, Odisha's contribution to uh, Indian, Freedom struggle. Yes, sir. The individuals. Yes, sir. And their contributions. Their contribution and different locations. That how in India this is happening and in Odisha this is happening. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Iram, Inchuri, yes, all sir. these things keep in mind. Definitely, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. One more thing I would like to again ask you that Buddhism has like has now become international. Yes, sir. Buddhism has now become international yes. and if you look at any other state in the whole country, Odisha is in no way less. Was there any reason why it was so well off in Odisha from about the 3rd century BC? You can see that uh, in fact during even the times of Buddha, Odisha had uh, an interaction with Buddhism. Who were the two persons? I'm just forgetting the name, sir. Yes, I had read somewhere the name. Tapaswen. Tapaswen Balika. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. And Lalita Giri is singularly very important as far as Buddhism. Buddhism, Buddhism is concerned because it is maybe here in the entire of Eastern India that caskets were found inside which there were relics, sacred relics. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. In a, first it was a stone. Like it was something like a Chinese puzzle box. Okay. Okay, stone, then another metal, then final is the gold, and inside the gold there was in a gold foil uh, tooth or a uh, charred, charred object okay. was rolled. Okay, sir. Nowhere else we have found. That has been found at Lalitgiri. Lalitgiri in a stupa. stupa. In Lalitgiri we have a stupa, it has been found there. Okay, sir. Okay, just brush up. Huh? Definitely. Sir. Brush up Odisha history. Okay, sir. And can you tell me um, that one of a good book 
to will ask you which is one of the good books to read on odisha history uh, so what i am reading uh, is the history of odisha by hari har panda but uh, i have to look up on the other sources okay okay uh, it would be rather better for you to mention about kesi pani grahi yes sir i have the pdf but i have not read it okay do have it even yes sir i have it even if you haven't gone through mention about mention about kesi pani grahi and k sahu okay okay yes sir right so okay last person for you yes sir what is the significance of the place balaram gadi sir it is a port uh, uh where actually the fishing activities are happening uh, very rapidly that area is actually um, growing a fishing hub and also prawn culture is there sir so, so there is a fish landing site yes a fish landing site and if i look at look uh, on the history sir uh, that was the site where uh, bagazatin was about to uh, meet the uh, german ship uh, to receive the arm arms that uh, uh, were actually coming from uh, germany that particular plan was german plot so that is the significance okay. it is on the river mouth of bodavana sir don't miss that yes sir Okay, thank you, Harir. I think you are making it this time. Last thank you, sir. Missed, but uh, this time I'll definitely try, sir. Let's start it. I have to cross the border history once more. Take a short, very short question to answer. Then I will go ahead and tell you the happy. Hey, Danny Ji. Definitely, sir. Definitely. That gives a very good impression. Okay. Okay. Yes, take a for the last year effort put in. Definitely, sir. Definitely. Put in your best. Definitely. You have cleared two steps. The third step, just put it in your pocket. Okay, what is it? Definitely, sir. इंपोर्टेंट पोस्ट लाइक प्रेसिडेंट दाइस चेयरपर्सन ऑफ नीति आयोग and uh, what i missed is a little bit more clarity on certain issues that i have to revise in the next two days you can you will definitely sir like uh, i saw i i came i saw i who said that i am not aware of sir sorry i conquered ha <laughs> i came <laughs> i saw i saw i conquered okay sir ki bhai dile i am not aware of sir alexander okay sir So you should. When I left India, okay. So when I came, I saw and I conquered. Vini, oh. Vidi, VC. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Language is there. Vini, Vidi, VC. VC. The man is there. I came. I saw. I, I saw. Conquered. I conquered. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. So, oh, what is the range of mark I, I can expect from this interview? With this interview, you can expect about uh, close to hundred fifty, hundred sixty, hundred seventy. Okay, yes, sir. But. But real interview will be definitely more than this. Definitely, uh, I hope so. Because okay. real interview one, doesn't go like rakha. this. One ninety rakha. One ninety rakha. Okay, sir. Mm. You can go up to with your given standard. Okay, sir. Whatever that you have been speaking over here. Okay. Uh, if it goes in your favor, rightly, you can go up to two hundred. Okay, sir. If you are missing, one hundred eighty is a must. Okay, sir. Then uh, I have two days in my hand. I'll put my heart and soul into revision. Yes, yes. I'll def- definitely come back, sir. Thank you sir. God bless you. Thank you sir.